I wanted to look at um, how I can interact with the chichewa in the computer. So this is what I did. The first thing, you know boys, you know young men, they are on Facebook, they are on Twitter, they are on Duke, they are everywhere on the internet. So I wanted to see how much chichewa is prevalent on the internet. So I used Twitter to look for chichewa words. And this is what I found. I'm happy. I can see low. I can see you, probably. I can see all those words. As you can see from the picture here, from the data, the kind of um, language that is on the internet is predominantly English. And this is a Chichewa speaker who was tweeting. You can hardly notice that there are some Chichewa words, but I can fetch them for you. Now, look at the Chichewa words out of the English words. The only thing you will notice is that most of the Chichewa words that are used are words that are used for conjunction. So what people are doing on the internet is they use Chichewa as a word scope. By that I mean, if they want to write something, they write like this. I'm coming, comma, I'll be there soon. <laughs> and only one word, one Chichewa word is seen on the internet. So I wanted to excite people. I wanted to find ways of preserving my language using the internet and the computer in general. So this is what I started thinking of. I thought of an idea of a software which people could associate themselves with and the simplest as much as possible. I also understood that um, traditional farmers are out there and they have no idea of what an, uh, a computer is. So I wanted something they could relate themselves with. And you know, nowadays at least they have afforded up to standard six or standard eight uh, education. So they can write some, some, some letters and send someone using an iron horse to a relative from another village. So I developed a word processor. This was a standard word processor with basic word processing um, uh, tools. So I called it Kalembela to associate with a writer that we use in everyday life, more or less like a paper. But this was not all. When I started this project eight years ago, I saw it was a cool idea, but I was missing something. There was no spell checker. <laughs> So I thought of ideas of how I can export the language. You know, when you look at Microsoft Word, it becomes so interactive as if someone is seeing you and says, you are wrong. <laughs> so I, I thought of a way of creating a spell checker. So I started using um, the existing technologies. I wanted to fuse my um, indigenous knowledge into the existing technology apart from just creating new systems as the word processor. So I created two spell checkers. The first one was for Firefox, and the other one was for OpenOffice Word. So I released the other one on my birthday, <laughs> deliberately. <laughs> and another one on 6th July, which happens to be Malawi's Independence Day. So this one, which you see here, is an example of a spell checker which I use when I'm on Facebook. As you can see, it's able to notice that the word in cop is wrong. It's either copy or uncopy. So apart from this, I started thinking of a more wider um, audience. OK, I'm using these things, but who else is online? What else can I do with the internet? So I thought of Google. Everyone of you searches uh, information using Google, and Google has become the de facto language in technology. And interestingly, some people have given their children names like Google. <laughs> <laughs> so <clears throat> I felt lucky that we have the internet, and in Chichewa luck is Pumi. So I felt that Dachitam Pumi. I felt lucky. So I started a project in 2009 of translating Google website into Chichewa. I pioneered this project. Later on, 
Google was uh, sneaking and they were looking at me. I don't know how they were doing it. And they wrote me an email. They said, we have seen that you are translating into your language. What is it that you want to do? Can we help you? I said, yes. And they said, OK, we are going to send you um, spreadsheets of data, and then you can share with your friends, and you can translate within a short period of time. So they sent me, and then we started translating. We had a few people, about 20 of them, we translated. And today, you go to Google Malawi, you find a Chichewa component, and you can do fufu in the Google, and mukoza you are lucky. But that was not all. The idea of the spell checker was a good idea, but if you have noted Microsoft Word, for example, I'm using that because that's what most of us know. When you write, um, I have been there, been, B-E-A-N, as in beans, <laughs> Microsoft Word will suggest been with double E for you. So it is, despite that the word being is correct, but it's also checking the syntax to see if the sentence is correct. So I had to think of ways in which I could associate that in my language. So I started working on something that I call a morphological analyzer, a tool that can parse the whole sentence and break it into small com components, looking for uh, parts of speech and trying to relate them together. For you who are Chichewa speakers, you agree with me that uh, a noun in Chichewa actually affects the whole sentence. If you start with a noun in a certain group, the whole sentence changes. If you say Ndili Bino and Muli Bino, there is a change. Maybe I should use this uh, example. Mwana Akuchidya Nsimaija. It doesn't make sense, does it? No. But Chidya is correct. But if you say, Mwana Akuyigya Nsimaija, now it becomes correct. So that's basically what this does. So it breaks down and shows you all the classes. For example, here I have an example of Nkango Uja, Unani Mbanso, Unamube Lanso Mwanawanu. So it's telling you that Nkango is in class four, uh, which is Mumi class. And Mwana Uja is in class one, which is Mua class, and all those things. So it's able to break that and tells you what's in the context. Apart from that, <laughs> apart from that, I thought of school. In school, we used to do sentence passing, kupanya ziganizo. So I thought of how can I take that into the computer so that children in the schools can use that. So I came up with a visualization tool, which when you give a sentence, it breaks down into a noun phrase, NP, and a verb phrase. And then it breaks further and tells you that this is a noun, this is an adjective, and this is a verb, and all those things. <coughs> but that was not all. I was, as I was uh, working on the internet, I met a friend, a rare one for that matter, from the West. <laughs> so, this friend is interesting. His name is Professor Kevin Scannell. He is an Irish uh, by birth, but he lives in US and he works at St. Louis University. And just like me, uh, Professor Kevin Scannell wanted his language, which is also um, at the virtue of dying, he wanted to revive it. So he started a project on reviving the indigenous language of Irish. So, as he was doing the projects, he saw that it was cool. And later on, he diversified and looked at the different minority and underrepresented languages that are in the world. Fortunately or unfortunately, he managed to uh, stumble upon Chichewa. And he started working on Chichewa alone in states. <laughs> then, coincidentally, because all of us are on the, on, on the internet, online as birds as you saw them, we bumped each other at one of these forums on the net, and he introduced me to his ideas and what he's doing. And together, we worked on a project called Indigenous Tweets. 
Primarily, Indigenous Streets is a project which is focusing at building communities online, I should call them villages, on the internet, which can uh, bring people of different kinds, but who are closely related together, into one form of a village. You can hardly notice who is a friend, who is somebody, I mean, who speaks Chichewa on the internet. But indigenous, Twitter, uh, indigenous tweets helped us to build such communities. So this is the first thing that we did. He created um, online channels on, he created online channels on the internet, and these channels are for twiddlers in indigenous languages. So for example, this is a forum for those who tweet in Chichewa. Apart from that, we worked on Facebook itself as indigenous Facebook. We wanted to translate Facebook into our language. Unfortunately, uh, Facebook stopped, uh, stopped um, supporting tr uh, transition of, uh, translation of um, Facebook into traditional languages. So we thought of creating uh, a plugin that would uh, turn the interface of Facebook into our traditional languages. And I'm happy in both projects, Chichewa was one of the projects that was supported at the very inception of the project. So, challenges and recommendations as I finish my speak. The first thing we noted is case of data. As you noted from the tweets, there is little information about Chichewa. So, what do we have? We wanted to ask people to start generating information in our local languages. I know media, uh, media are here, they create online news, but what if you can take the Chichewa news and put it on the internet so that you can help someone? And finally, the harvest is huge, but we are just two people. We want an intervention. The university is introducing courses in traditional languages, working with computers and languages themselves in computation, computational linguistic fields. I leave you with a question. Does anyone need an indigenous language from what I have said? Charles Maurice, a French revolutionist, once said, a language was given to man to disguise his thoughts. If you kill a traditional language, you have killed a mind. Thank you.